Welcome, Pewter Report readers and viewers, to the debut edition, the 2019 edition of What's Cooking, sponsored by our good friends at Ford's Garage. And our first guest of the year is this guy, everybody's preseason hero, Mr. Tanner Hudson. Good to be here. I was waiting if you were going to say something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You can look at the camera, too, occasionally. It's a good thing. Tanner, let's be honest. You should probably be starting ahead of O.J. Howard, yes or no? <laughs> I mean, of course. I'm obviously way bigger than him. Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> way. More athletic. More athletic. Played at a bigger college program. My hair was more blonde than his in the beginning. We, we're going to start calling you Tips Hudson. Okay. Because yeah. he frosted his tips in the offseason. Whatever works. You're actually born in Paris. I am. Yes. Now, how much French do you know? Um, you know, plenty. I just don't want to give it away. Really? That's the only thing, yeah. Now, yeah. there's a problem with that because Anthony Auclair, another tight end, he kind of knows that because he's yeah, a French see, Canadian. Yeah, mine has more of a southern slang to it, though, mm. so some words he doesn't catch on to as much. So, Good thinking. Yeah. That's smart for a guy from Paris. Yeah. Now, uh, also, you know, being from Paris, you have to enjoy French cuisine, I'm guessing. I have to. What's your favorite French food? Um, fries? Yeah, probably French fries. How do, how do I look, by the way? That's, I mean, you're pulling it off. Am I? Yeah, yeah. How you, how you like the show so far? That's good. Good? I like it. Yeah. Best show you've ever been on? I mean, easily. The only show you've ever been on? Probably. In all seriousness, he's not from Paris, France. I know, I was shocked too. We have an Eiffel Tower. No, you do not. We do. Tell us where Paris is. Paris is... Your Paris. It's a little bit lower than Big Sandy, which, you know, if you blink, you're going to miss it. So... Big Sandy sounds like a city in like Friday Night Lights. It's about as big as this room. Oh, good. <laughs> so yeah, you know. So everybody knows everybody. Pretty much. All right, all right. So you're from 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 Paris, Tennessee. I got this long list of things here, but I want to get into some serious topics. Talk about your humanitarian work that you do with refugees in the Ukraine. Um, you see, that's a that's a you know, off-screen topic. I don't like to get into it as much because I don't want people really looking into it. Do you even know where the Ukraine is? It's over there. Okay. It's just like... Yeah. There? Okay, yeah. over there. You see this? This is good. Ford's Garage. You ever yeah. been to Ford's Garage? I have not. Do you drive a Ford? Huh? I do not. What, what kind of car do you have? I have a Nissan Altima. Yeah, we're going to get a truck. We're, we're going to work up to it. I was going to say, you're from Paris, yeah. Tennessee, and you're driving a Nissan Altima. I, got, I, I went to school a long ways away. had to drive. You know, gas ain't cheap. There's a practical man here. I like that. Your car has a sticker on it. Um, Bigfoot? Yes, Bigfoot sticker. Because he's out there. We just haven't found him. All right, no, I'm just kidding. That's cool. That's interesting. That's cool that you believe in Bigfoot. Um... How much money did you get from the Tooth Fairy when you were a kid? Um, Believe in that, too? Yeah, plenty. Okay. I mean, yeah, obviously. Yeah. You're a big alien guy, too? Yeah, my dad has a... Uh, I got it for him. I can't remember. Is that... That normally happens, or...? Well, normally, uh, only when we talk about aliens, that's weird. No. Uh, Area 51, what's in there? Yeah, we're going on the raid September 20. <laughs> <laughs> Have you told Coach Arians that yeah, you're not going to be here that week? I invited him. He didn't, yeah. you know. I will say he, Bruce looks like the kind of guy that would be like, you know what, what the hell, let's go. Yeah, Sounds he said like he's fun. busy, though, so. Yeah. He might be busy coaching a football team. I mean, it's, you know, it's season, but, you know. All right, so we're in our Nissan Altima. We're going hunting. We're in Paris, Tennessee, down from Big Sandy, and you're with your dad, and he's scoping the sky for aliens, and all of a sudden, you hear the sound of the Bigfoot. There's many sounds Bigfoots make, so I don't know which one you're talking about, but yeah, anyways. Probably the one that goes, Tanner, Tanner. Well, yeah, we have it, yeah, maybe that sound. So you hear, what are you gonna do if you find a Bigfoot? Well, we're gonna try to track its movements, you know, set up a few trail cameras, set some apples on a tree, Obviously, try to last the hand pulling it out. Mm -hmm. Serious, mm -hmm. serious uh, documentary on Netflix. But what happened to the lights now? Uh, I don't know. All this alien talk yeah. and Bigfoot talk uh, is uh, being kind of uh, causing some extraterrestrial activities and I stuff mean, like that. Happen. All right, so we're trapping the Bigfoot if we actually see one. How about, do you think you've seen a Bigfoot before? Um, 
you know, you catch some crazy things on trail camera. My Uncle Randy, he once walked in front of it. He's, you know, he it could have passed for one possibly, but, you know, we'll, we'll never know if it was true to him. <laughs> could it have been a very large woman who needs to shave? You know, it, possibly. You know, there's a couple of bearded, a couple of bearded hens out there, you know, running around, but, you know. <laughs> It, it, it depends. All right. I'd have to really scope in on it. All right, so um, so we're going to now. Are you going to throw a net on it, like in Harry and the Hendersons? See, I don't know. You know, if if it's a friendly Bigfoot, I'm not trying to you know invade its territory and you know catch it with a net. How would I feel if I'm walking through the woods and a net falls on me? <laughs> Probably feel like uh, if Luke Keekley hit you. Probably in a football game. Yeah. Now, um, I hear that you can identify and know that there's Bigfoots by the smell, they have a very foul smell. Have you heard that as well? Um, it, it's sometimes, it's, you know, the, you know, I, I don't know if it's you, but there's Yeah, I was a, gonna think, did you not shower after I mean, I did just today? work out, but I didn't think it was, you know, I thought I sprayed. Yeah, I mean, I took a shower before I came in today and, and have on the, the, the I mean, I got two shirts on, but, oh, well. <laughs> okay. I guess there's the smell. <laughs> What do you think, Tanner? Um, you know, from the documentaries I've seen, it's a little different, but you know, nobody's truly seen one. Your favorite meal, you go back home, you go to say there's a family reunion, or better yet, your Southern Baptist, so you know what dinner on the grounds is. Yeah. And after church service, yeah. oh, everybody yeah. brings a dish, and you go in there and everybody eats, and you gotta pray over the meal. What's the, what's the one pot you're going to, man? What's the one food that you're gravitating towards at the church? Dinner on the ground, so. Or Probably my, my dad's uh, hash brown casserole. It's pretty. It's pretty amazing. You got to go to it quick because it runs out quick. So if you if you're just scrolling through the lines, you know, you're gonna scrolling through it. or scrolling through both. Do you scroll through? You the scroll, line? Well, you know, it depends. All right, we're almost done, and you can get out of here before you uh, decide that you don't want to play football anymore. All right, now if Tanner Hudson is gonna cook a meal. Mm. For Carly. For Carly. No. No, you're going to cook a meal. Yeah, no, but you cook it for Carly. I was going to say your folks, but either one's we'll probably the same. For the food. whole food, yeah. Yeah, folks. your family yeah. reunion. Yeah. You're having some people folks. over for dinner. What is Tanner going to cook? And you can't go get your hibachi to go. You have to cook it. I'm cooking it. Okay, first of all, I'm grilling. So I'm going to go get some steaks, some nice, nice thick steaks. You like strips? Do we like T bones? What are we talking about? Um, you know, most of the time it's sirloin. Nice. Nice sirloin. They have burgers, um, good, really good burgers. Good burgers, seriously. yes. Slap them in. Wait, 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 wait. You're an NFL football player. Yeah. You don't eat sirloin anymore. That's like the the poor people hillbilly food. But what that's that's not forgetting where you came from, though. <laughs> you know, just for looks, you you throw some lettuce and stuff in a bowl, and you know if you want to get that. Whatever. Not for nutrition. No. <laughs> just for looks. Just throw if you want to get in that, you can have a salad, but whatever. If you fell asleep right now, yeah. what are the odds that you would start sleepwalking and go over there and pee in that corner? Um, probably a pretty good chance. I've been known to sleepwalk and talk in my sleep a lot. And according to your mom, you once peed in a closet. I've done a lot of things <laughs> sleepwalking. Do you still have that problem at age 23, um, 24? I don't think so. I haven't. I haven't well, how would you know anything. you live alone? Yeah. Carly have said, you ever Carly said you, one night I woke up and I was just, you know, staring at the headboard like this, laying on my stomach. So I probably dreaming of Bigfoots probably. and aliens. Yeah, so that's that's a possibility. You know. One time I thought I had a quarterback on my elbow. Was it Ryan Griffin? So uh, it could have been, I don't know. Yeah. So my dad just told me to get up and go back to bed, so I did. <laughs> a man who's one day going to discover aliens, also going to discover Bigfoot. He's not going to kill him. He's gonna <laughs> trap him and get photographic evidence. Him, what are you? You're just gonna lead him by his hand like into pet. the wildlife. <laughs> like a pet? Big, how cool would that be? That would actually be very exactly. illegal, probably. And then if I tell people they're gonna come to my house and try to, you're gonna put him in a cage and try and charge five dollar admission no, to see Bigfoot. That's what everybody else would do. I'm letting him live on the just land. Do you realize that they're like eight foot? They, they would rip you from. It's like having a grizzly. I mean, people don't have pet grizzly bears for they a reason. They would try to rip me in half. If I tried to do bad things to him, but I'm feeding him apples. Hopefully you're giving him a bath, too, because they do yeah. tend to smell. It, you know, we'll 
We'll cross that bridge if he wants one. Well, Tanner, thanks for joining us on the first episode of What's Cooking in 2019. It very well could be the last episode. I don't know. Depends how the Bigfoot shows up. <laughs> We actually had a Bigfoot, uh, Matthew Matera. Thanks for guesting his Bigfoot. We just gave it away who that was. Mm -hmm. Andy Scavelli is our producer. We appreciate everybody watching. Make sure to go check out Ford's Garage, our title sponsor. Burgers. Probably. Burgers. Everything you want. Great happy hour specials. We're Baptist, so we don't drink. But if we did, we would go to Ford's Garage to drink. We would. That's absolutely the truth. Ford's Garage, multiple locations throughout Central Florida, all the way up as far as Dearborn, Michigan, all the way south as Estero. New locations coming to Daytona Beach and also the Bradenton area, multiple locations in the Bay Area. Tanner, we're going to hook you up, and we're going to take you to Ford's Garage soon. Sounds like a plan. They don't have Bigfoot burgers.